In digital storytelling, your voice is your strongest tool for creative expression. With your script finalized, let's go right into recording the tracks. This is the Audacity interface. The recording controls are up on the top left. Audacity uses familiar recording symbols. Red circle to record, green arrow to play, yellow square to stop. Your computer probably has a built-in mic, but if not, inexpensive USB mics can be found at any electronics store. Click the red button and start recording. My dog Bella and I are soon to take a walk on the Appalachian Trail. When done, Trail. click on the yellow square. To listen back, place the playhead at the beginning of the track and click on the green triangle. Line by line you record, you listen. If you like the take, you keep it. If you don't, delete the track and start all over again. To record the next part or section, Place the cursor at the end of the first track and click the red record button. But you see the audio folk. track recorded in really real time and, and are time able I to can. view the waveform. Well, I was in the third grade. When done, back up to hit the stop button. Scroll back using the scroll bar at the bottom. Place the cursor at the beginning and hit the play button. Listen but back. We are city folk. Decide we if you like really it. Hike. And the last time I camped, well, I was in the third grade. Accepting the words, part three is recorded exactly like parts one and two. Place your playhead at the end of the previous track. Click record. Our friends have been helping when us done, train. When done, hit stop. Place your playhead at the beginning of the track. Click the play button listen to the track. Our friends have been helping us train. And yet again for the fourth and final part. We're not sure what the experience is going to bring but we sure are excited. Let's scroll back to the beginning so we can hear the whole piece. We divided our script into four sections and recorded four tracks. Now it's time to compile them. The current view is not very helpful. We can only see a track and a half. So let's reconfigure the window so we can see all of the tracks. Let's go up to the View menu and select Fit in Window. While this is better, it's not exactly what we need. So let's try again, this time with Fit Vertically. Ah, now that's what we want. Next, we'll listen to all four tracks together and Our decide if they work as a whole. Train. We're not sure what the experience is going to bring, but we sure are excited. If they do work as a whole, and if we do like the way they sound, then it's time for us to save and export this file. To save, we go up to the File menu, and from the drop-down, we select Save Project. That's pretty simple, nothing you haven't done before. But saving the project is just the first step. We also need to export it. The difference between saving and exporting is simple but important. When you save, you're saving the Audacity file. When you export, you're actually converting an Audacity file into a file format that a video editing program can read, like WAVE or AIFF. So let's save. Audacity will mix our multiple tracks down to one, and it's that one track that we will bring into our video editing program. With a finished script and a recorded voiceover track, now it's time to compile our visuals and start editing.